Good morning. <laughs> it is um, Saturday, November the 13th. Um, it's been an interesting weekend so far. <laughs> uh, I worked on Remembrance Day in the morning. Um, then I went to the Remembrance Day um, festivities at uh, the old city hall um, where the old mayor of Toronto gave his last ever Remembrance Day speech, which was nice. Um, it's kind of sad to see him go. He's being replaced by Ford. Um, <laughs> giving him a chance, I swear. <laughs> um, then yesterday, what did I do yesterday? I went for a walk to the beaches, which was nice. Um, it's always nice to be able to go and just listen to the waves and relax and go for a walk on the boardwalk and all that fun stuff. It was um, the um, homo kissing at Dundas Square yesterday. I'm kind of sad that I missed it. Um, I would have just liked to see like what was going on, how many people were there. Um, I'm sure um, there were enough people. I'm sure created a lot of awareness. It, it was it was pretty much awareness um, against homophobia. Um, so just being more public about um, our relationships and stuff because a lot of gay men, especially in Toronto, um, prefer to be they're they're not closeted, but in the relationships they don't really display like they don't hold hands in public and stuff like that. So it's just creating awareness and saying, hey, we're we have equal rights for this too, so it's kind of nice. Um, and then last night I ended up going to Woody's and Cruise and Tango's, um, which was nice. I haven't been there in a long time, so it's always nice to go back and see the crowd. It usually doesn't change. Um, got to see a couple people I haven't seen in a long time, Tim, um, John and Tracy, um, they all look well, which is nice. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else? Um, this morning I got up early, well early for a Saturday. <laughs> Went to Starbucks, um, still in my like coffee coma phase <laughs> where I haven't quite woken up yet. Um, plans for today are really just to go to, um, to Walmart because I looked at like the Bay and Sears for Christmas trees but they're overly expensive like the cheapest I could get was 80 bucks um, it was a really nice tree for 80 bucks let me tell you um, but I prefer to pay 40 and have a crappy ass tree to be honest because it's just me living in here and yeah <laughs> um, it just sucks when you don't have a car and it's like, okay, well, I'm going to walk there and then I'm going to take the subway back, which will be like three bucks. So that's added on to whatever the price of the tree is, which I hope to not pay more than 40 bucks for a tree. Um, I heard that Costco was having one for 40 bucks, so I'm like, I just wish I had like a Costco membership or like a friend with a Costco membership, but nobody has one because it's like, we all live downtown and there's no Costco downtown and... I live in a studio, so it's like, it's, there's no purpose um, to have a Costco membership because I couldn't store any major products. Like, I literally don't even, don't even do weekly grocery shops just because of the fact that I don't have storage space for it. Like, I much rather just buy whatever I need on that day, and then if I need something else, the grocery store is 24 hours, and I'll go get it. Um, it's actually created, like... I find, like, living downtown, you're a lot less, um, lazy. Like, people that live, um, either not directly in the city, but, like, just, just outside of the city, or people that live in the suburbs, they take the car everywhere, they only go out, like, once a week to get groceries, which is, like, A, your veggies go, like, bad after three days. If people don't know that, that's, like, you. I don't want to eat vegetables that have been sitting in the fridge for more than that. Um, yeah, <laughs> kind of went off on a tangent there. <laughs> um, 
anyway, so I hope everybody is having a great weekend, and um, I look forward to hearing your wonderful comments about this video because I'm sure you'll have some. So, talk to you soon. Okay, bye.